Order in the core. Order in the core. All, All right. <laughs> we nailed that. <laughs> okay. Your line. Your line. All right. We can all be seated now. <laughs> that was in your line. <laughs> Court is now in session. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Court's now in session. <laughs> Court's. <laughs> Court's in session. Court is now in session. <laughs> all right. We shouldn't have given him that much power. I know. Sorry, really sorry. Did. I, I, I won't hear it anymore. Zane is an it's actual fun. judge. It's He's fun, man. It's fun. Being a Supreme Court like, justice. Like, Come on. What are you going to say? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you dumb. guys are probably wondering why we are here. Why we are here, here, <laughs> here, 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 why uh, we look like this? And because we are in deep trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly. 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 <laughs> this is exciting. It is. I'm I'm a little nervous to be honest, and I think our lawyers are even more nervous than I am. <laughs> yeah, them watching the amount of rounds this video is gonna have to go through, guys. This might go up in two weeks. <laughs> yeah. No, we keep like laughing, and I'm just imagining our lawyers watching like this. <laughs> <laughs> Not even like a smirk. Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay, so um. As you can see, obviously our sign is covered. Allegedly. Allegedly, half of our sign is covered. Mm. And um, it's because- It's up for discussion. It's, <laughs> it's up for debate yeah. today. Up for debate. Uh, up ah. for debate. We just, we have illegally named our name. Illegally. The name of our show. Allegedly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is we're painful. trying to be we're trying to be so careful with our words right now. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants to say anything because they're all just like All jokes aside, you may be wondering, oh, our Halloween special came early this year. It did not. Mm -mm. Um if you're not watching the YouTube, I highly suggest you do because we are in fact dressed as jur jur jurors. Nope. I'm judges. A judge. I'm a judge. Judge. judges judge today. Judy. And not only that, we are actually in a real court. We That's are right. the court, court of justice. Of the court of law. If anyone is in law school watching this, this is your episode because we look ridiculous. Yeah, and you know, uh, in the in the UK, they actually still wear these. They wear Do these. They uh, really? really? Yeah, I'm now. excited because this could like double as like a um, like multiple costumes. This. Oh, oh yeah. If I want to be the the godmother from Shrek, <laughs> exactly. Yes. I can do that. We so could be like, graduate, like um, high school wow. graduates, uh -huh. which we all are. Sorry, I, I can't unsee no. Fairly Godmother from Shrek. Uh. So yes, yeah, so. we did receive a letter. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we started the show, mm -hmm. a lot of people had asked us, why didn't you just call the show Pretty Unfiltered, you dumb yeah, dummies? Mm -hmm. And the reason being that there is a podcast already named Pretty Unfiltered. And not only that, fully legally taken rightfully and trade trademarked. Trademarked. Rightfully so, yes. All the things. We did receive a letter. And we were told a very nice letter, by the way. So thank you to mm -hmm. the team and to the person who owns the trademark, who was very kind with us about it. We were very lucky that we received this uh, now yes. instead of much, much later. This That could have been bad. Yes. And we're very appreciative. And we totally understand this is our fault for uh, using the wrong name. Guilty as charged. Guilty we, as charged. We, we all deserve prison time for this. <laughs> Lock them up. We Jail. were. That we were so in the wrong and we really thought, we really thought. No, we thought. We thought we ate. And here's the we thing. We thought we can get away with this, but we, like, we did not. I'm sorry. If if I heard someone came out with a Pretty X Basic podcast, I'd be like, bitch, <laughs> are you kidding? Like, no, that's I, like, you can't do that. I'd be doing the same thing. I'd be doing the same thing. If someone came up with Bane and Key, <laughs> Bane and Key unfiltered, unfiltered, I'd be right. I'd be order, order, order. I would not allow that. Bane. I would full sentence mm. for that mm -hmm. death penalty. Oh, but yeah. So it was a it was a very nicely worded letter that we got, and um, we are now taking the next steps to make things right. Uh, we do not have confirmation on a new name, so <laughs> right now we're. Uh, we're I'm test, not sure what we're doing. We're gonna test some out, but yeah. we figured in in limbo. While the name is in limbo, we would title today's show illegally. Unfiltered. unfiltered right so if you'd like to comment down below and come up with some other name ideas for <laughs> us we are all ears court is open court is in session yes court is in session uh everything is open let us know uh but and, we are we're excited and look we're not here to we're not here to commit another form of thievery like we already did I have by seeing your names on the, by seeing the new names in the comments but this will just 
help us a little bit because we are stuck. Mm. And, and we, we have to move quick. We have to move quick. Exactly. Because right now it's an untitled podcast. So we, all the help is needed from you guys. <laughs> That was good. That was really good. That was good. So good. <laughs> Just listening to him is like uh, trying to re- reach the word count. It's, it's like, <laughs> it's like <laughs> watching cement dry. Everything like cement dry. <laughs> Bro, the lawyer's watching this. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be too. I'd be too. You were going to say something? Um, oh, I forget. Fine. Okay. Like Heath was saying, everything happens for a reason. Yes. We should be thankful that this is happening now. And um, that they were so nice. Seriously. Oh. No, no. But I also just wanted to point out that. Uh, Coming up with a name just that's not taken already is is really really tough. Like if you type in anything in like Everything's any trademark thing, everything is taken already, and you cannot just like even when it's like a close name to it, they can still like come after you. So you when you when you come up with a new show name or literally a brand name, anything you have to try to come up with something completely original. We thought combining our show names would work, but we just did it, and we just can't come up with anything else right now. But we're gonna think on it, and uh, hopefully something works. Mm-hmm. Also, Rem and I were dying when all of this came into fruition because fruition on, on jar- <laughs> Okay, legal jargon. <laughs> um, I'm pretty basic. We're always like, <laughs> we girl boss too hard, and we're like, oh my god, yeah, guys, this is how you like the industry works. And if you're gonna do something, like, make sure to get the trademark and blah 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 mm. blah. And here we are. I will say, we were in the process of trying to get it trademarked. But we were we heard that could take up to a year, and then there's like all these fees if it didn't work. So then that's why we we're like, you know what? It's cheaper for everyone. It's our fault anyway. Let's just rename her and have you guys involved. Exactly. I just I just feel so good in this outfit. Sorry, I'm just like really enjoying this right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, my head's already itchy. I know. Really? My, I, I my, feel good. My head doesn't I do great. My, my head doesn't great. do well with wigs. I don't know why. Just, it, I, I think mean, anybody it, else's hair on my head. My skin uh, rejects it. Have a you seen how scalp. synthetic yeah. wigs are made? No. no. It's insane. Hold on. You know what? We're going to hit a recess real quick. Roll the intro. We'll be back. I'm <laughs> So this so is exact. This is how they made these wigs. They're just plastic strands. Aren't it's they? just plastic. And then they. Whoa! I know. Okay, that's really cool. Whoa! And then wait, wait, watch. And then they just. Do, 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 do. Whoa! Alicia, not an ounce of me could it's have guessed like the that. Candy. Yeah. And then they just go really fast. <laughs> well, obviously it's sped up. That is so. Wow. <laughs> they go so fast. And they charge that much for wigs. And then look at. Oh wait, these no. are the fake, the fake, the fake ones. Oh. I'm so sorry. It should be more expensive. That's so. Is that cool. crazy? No, you saw how easy that was. That's an art form. Look at them. I want to see you try to do that. I can do that. Look, just send me that video. I'll get it done. <laughs> Real hair though, that's coming out of people's heads, right? Mm. And horse hair, mm. horse. No, it's uh, a lot of it is donations. Oh, like locks of love. That's right. Remember when Layla donated her hair? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> You stupid ass! <laughs> you know what? I want to talk to her about that one day. I really want to know, like, what, like, was like behind the scenes. I, I it was, always it was wanted crazy. To do it. It was I've cra- always wanted to do it. That tra- you should do it. When I had my really long hair, yeah. I should have. I think he. I. You know what I think happened in that specific situation with Layla? Mm-hmm. I think that she actually donated oh, all her hair. Layla. It's just that she she already donated it. Right. So she just took. Fake hair just to just to like recreate it. It's like it was like uh-huh. almost like a stage thing, but she actually right. donated. That's what I think happened. So Layla Paz, <laughs> not guilty. Uh, let's ask the jury. I forgot let's, that <laughs> happened. I didn't know what you were talking about. Yeah, right Layla now. Paz. I could see that. Remember, do, do you yes. remember that post a long yeah, time ago? Though? I remember. I, that was like the first. That was like the first scandal. Mm. <laughs> first, was it? That was one of the first scandals that hot. I ever saw. It was hot. It was hot. I, hot I tea. could see that. I could see that she was just like, she had already donated it. Yeah, I could see that. She didn't have good friends back then telling her to- No PR. No PR telling her mm-hmm. to to uh, to edit out the tracks. Hold the roots. The Hold roots. the roots. <laughs> the clippings. You know so when you funny. donate to Locks of Love, you can't have any sort of, it has to be completely virgin hair. You can't have any sort of treatment to it. So- oh, So my blue hair would nope. not, mm-hmm. would not nope. do good. Can't do okay. it. Mm-hmm. I think that's why I've never even a thought I could attempt because I started- Getting highlights in like eighth grade. So I, I can't, can't even grow my hair. My hair barely grows. So they Ooh. don't take pubes. I don't think Dude, they pubic take hair, pubes. the thickest, the thickest out there. Mm. I'd be. <laughs> Boy, your hairline would be. 
<laughs> stank it. No. <laughs> no, you think your hair would still stink after they've been removed and cleaned out? <laughs> They're raw. You need to put K18 like. K18. Every, K18. What is it? K18. K18. And every two minutes. Oh, yeah, that was close. Just the. Uh, uh, that was funny. They got good products. For your my, my, my hair, for sure. my hair feels like a baby's ass when I put when that shit that? on my hair. Yes. Yeah, tell them to the camera. I'd only do it if I could pick the person that I'm donating it to. I really? want to. I want to like hand it to them. Oh, okay. I don't want to leave it up to you know somebody to like whip it all together. You know, I want to. You want to know where it's going? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like your liver when you when people donate the liver, liver right? Or is kidney, it kidney. Yes, yes, <laughs> kidney. <They're li> <laughs> yeah, I'm here for a liver donation. <laughs> when some, no one wants your liver. <laughs> if I'm donating, yeah. <laughs> Shut up. That's not fair. I've been drinking like seven months. Days. Us last week. Did we drink last week? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me and you? Yeah. What did we do? <laughs> on the, the episode? Show. Oh, that doesn't count. I don't count drinking on the episode as a... <laughs> Spoken like a real it's, alcoholic. It's work. <laughs> Guilty. That's... Guilty. Come on. <laughs> Guys, if you are drinking at work... Nobody should be <laughs> drinking at work. Yeah, yeah. Most of you are not, but like if you're sneaking some like... You got a flask on you and you're drinking at work, you're, you're working, sneaking. you don't count that as a night out, you're drinking alcohol. Sneaking alcohol <laughs> it's like it's la sober right if you're doing wine and shrooms you're it's sober fine, yeah yeah not what it is you're it, on it, one it today is. it is okay but he's he zaps eight of his tattoos all of a sudden he's a he's a pure clean version <laughs> oh my he was I holding did. i did i got my first tattoo in. removal today how was it it hurt really bad i'm not gonna lie to you and i'm glad it did Oh my god! Hurt, you know what? Like I, I didn't want to say it in there, but it hurts me that you're removing your tattoos. You covered was, yours up. I didn't cover my. It's still there. It's still on my skin, and that's why I only covered it up because I, I, I still want that on my skin. It's still on my skin. Question: Was it a best friend tattoo yes. or something? Yes. Oh, was it that? I don't. Sad. I, no, we, he got Cremota and I got Dragon. Oh, I get your hurt. But Come to, on, go up to but, the stand. No, let's let's communicate properly. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Let's express how. Yeah, why All do right, you feel this so way? We both got Cromoda Dragon tattoos. I got Cromoda, and he got Dragon. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. The placement on my thigh, I was not a fan of, but I made sure the tattoo I put over it complements oh. it. So you already covered, he covered it? his like oh, two years ago. If you no, covered it, then you have no, no grounds. I I, no, I didn't cover it though. I covered it, but like. The ink is mixed in with my other tattoo. So were you it, hurt the same, when he covered it? I was deeply. I, I think that's I where I the see resentment both sides. It's the that same blood. Sense. It's the same ink. It's the same. It goes in together, guys. Spiritually, I'm Zane, right. If you think about it, what I'm doing is way more meaningful. You just covered yours. I'm getting mine lasered and zapped and breaking it down and having my body absorb the tattoo. So I am becoming one. He is dragon. with the tattoo. <gasps> so and real you, for that. Oh, I didn't know this was a, th a three against one. Let's gang up on I don't Zane. know. We're all judges. How about we make a vote? No, you see, I think uh, I need a lawyer for this case. <laughs> and I'm, I need a He's good smart. I need a good defense. Allegedly. For sure. I understand he, both sides. Okay. If you hadn't covered yours up, I would have been on your side. Mm -hmm. But I can't. Okay, now. go back to Shrek land. I'm. <laughs> oh, my God. Zane is on He's one spicy. today. In the morning, we're making waffles. <laughs> and in the morning, I'm making waffles. I'm making waffles. Um, well, so glad we sorted that out yeah. and communicated through our mm -hmm. feelings. That was one of our petty cases that we just had. Yes. Petty unfiltered. <laughs> would you? I'm still too close. <laughs> would you take? <laughs> we, we don't go there, Alicia. Wait, would so you good. take Heath to court for getting his tattoos lasered? This court? I would, I would really have to be convinced out of it for sure. Oh, you feel very strongly. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> yup. Uh, Remy, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Should I? I? Know, just like, how does it make you feel? I don't know. This this case is just not the vibe, and your like, honor. Zay will be getting all gossipy. <laughs> <laughs> he did what? And what he say to you? He, he did what? <laughs> okay, I was thinking, uh, like, what should we do for this episode? And then I started thinking about this crazy story of uh, my college roommate. I moved into a house with a bunch of sorority sisters, but she, one of them had previously had a really crazy roommate who did not like her for whatever reason. She was an amazing roommate, but she one day woke up, went to go eat the food out of her fridge. And she was like, I feel like this kind of smells strange. The food or the fridge? The food. Oh. Like her, her leftovers and things she, mm -hmm. she left in there. 
her roommate had sprayed Raid <gasps> all over her food. Yeah. No, no. way. Uh huh. And she, had she not smelled That's, it, wait, why? she would have eaten it. I know. Why? Like, what happened? I don't know. She's she was, an amazing she was roommate. Stealing the food and thought like she would. No, I think she just didn't like her. And would she have died? She would uh, have I mean, no. She, it just like I think, and I don't know how like Raid works after it's been sitting on food for a little bit. Maybe she'd be fine, but I mean, that's if, poisonous. I, if, they, yeah. if there was, if there was, if there was proof, like footage of her spraying that, she, like she could definitely. Well, she would go to jail. Be, yeah, that's like Attempted that's you're poisoning them. I, yeah. I, I technically, I think it could premeditated. Yeah. Premeditated. She, she definitely would have been fine. I think I definitely should have probably would have been fine. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> um. <laughs> you with props bring, is my favorite thing in the world. Bring her, bring her to court. I know, right? And let us settle this here. That's, That's what I That saying. is pretty wild. Yes. And, well, then I started thinking, obviously she was okay, but she could have. I mean, that's more than a petty. Did she eat all of it? Like, no, what? she didn't eat it. She oh, was like, this God. smells weird. And so then obviously she moved out immediately and moved in with me. It's weird though, because I feel like I've known people who would do something like that. I, I mean. In my, in hmm. my past. I've come across a club. <laughs> how, how was it I've like confirmed? Across? Like she, did she like confront the girl about doing that or? I don't remember that to be honest. And how did like she find out ago. it was the Ray too? Like, was she like, "This smells funny," and then grabbed like? Some I think of it the... just probably smelled like Raid. I'm not sure, and they had Raid in the house. I forget the the details of it. Imagine but... the girls like. So I saw a cockroach, and it went on your food. So then I sprayed it, <laughs> and then I put oh. it back in the fridge. And that's You're that's so would have right. been in the case. I'm that's not a good sure. defense. That is a good defense. My defendant. For sure. I don't know. You know what I would have done to like make sure that it was the exact smell? I would make the same exact food. I'd put it in the Tupperware and I would spray it and put it in the fridge and see if it smells exactly the same. And I would do it with like every product. Come on, lawyer. Just to, yeah, just to, just to make Hit sure. Hit it with that, a lighter, like, you know. see if it's flammable. Are lawyers still watching this completely straight face this whole episode? <laughs> oh yeah, if lawyers, if you're watching, you're good now. <laughs> You're good. We're we like, settled it. No, we're not. Okay. Well, that got me thinking. We should play a game called Guilty or Not Guilty. Mm, all and right. we did ask all of our followers on Instagram, which if you aren't following the link account. below. Uh, yeah. our account, our account. <laughs> <laughs> then um, you wouldn't know. So go follow us. And we got some really good submissions. And I figured we could read them and deem whether we think the person that's writing is guilty or not guilty, or just the whole situation. Are they guilty? Not guilty. Okay. Love it. And we'll pound the gavel. And, I, and I'm a brutal judge. So <laughs> I, I say how it is, and if you don't like it, then there's the court doors. And I watch a lot of Judge Judy, so. <laughs> oh, okay, Judge that. Booty. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you see that? There was like this meme going around with Judge Judy because like people saw her out and about and they're like, damn, she has like an hourglass, but you never would know That's because funny. she all you see is this. Heath, who was the judge that we saw at dinner that one night? Yes. Uh, what was her name? People's Court. <gasps> People's Court. So she she, yeah, she, she, came, she came up, up to us and she was saying that my daughter is a big fan of blah, blah, blah. And we, wh how did we come to find out it was her? Because we didn't know until after we left. Um, We said that she looked familiar, I think, as well. She looked familiar. And we asked, what did she do? And she's like, I'm a judge on mm -hmm. People's Court. And then we went and looked it up. And what was it Matt or Mariah was just like a big fan. I or think somebody. Matt. Maybe they're watching. Oh, now for sure. Oh, she's definitely going to watch this episode if she sees this. <laughs> Keep cracking them cases, baby girl. Judge Marilyn. Judge Marilyn. She's stunning. Wow. She was. And she had. Mm. Don't. Your honor. Her kid's watching this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guilty. Good. I am guilty of that. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd like to be honored. <laughs> <laughs> Your honor. I'm, I'm honored. honored. I'm honored. You're honored. I'm honored. Your honor. I'm okay. Honored. So I'm going to read this and then we can just deem guilty or not guilty. Mm. Okay. Whenever you order your food and it comes out wrong, is the waiter guilty or not guilty? I'll go first. If I am tipping my waiter or waitress, that is your responsibility. I'm not tipping the chef. The chef's cooking the food. The so waiter's the way you're saying the waiter's job is to correct to guilty. get that food right. Ah. Right, guilty. So you're the one that took the order, wrote it down. If you noticed that something was wrong, you should be double checking it as the food is coming out. Okay. Don't bring me my wrong order. There's, guilty. There's one very mm. guilty. I, there, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say not guilty, but this 100 percent guilty. If I'm saying my order and you're not writing it down mm. because. You're saying, oh, I got it up here. And then you come <laughs> back and you said that you forgot something. Okay. 
prison. Oh my oh god! My god. <laughs> <laughs> he said we weren't gonna slam this, him. This is what I. This is what I do, baby. This is what I do to your face. I have to say, <laughs> not guilty. They're taking so many orders. There's a lot happening. You just have to politely, if you want to, say hi. I actually ordered this, or hi, can I? You know, I'm. Could I change this, please? And then you move on. All right, all right. So not guilty. I think not guilty. That's good. Okay. But I do agree with if they're not writing it down, it stresses me out. But then when they don't write it down and it comes right, I am blown away. Yeah. I'm blown away. I think my initial thought was guilty because in my head, I'm like, oh no, they got it wrong. But I'm more guilty myself of just taking the L and not saying anything because I'm too scared to say anything. So I'm the real guilty. Because I'm never like, sorry, it's medium. Like, I'm just like, oh, thanks. No, it's perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. Thank you. I don't and need anything. Good. And honestly, that's what I do most of the time. I'm too I, scared to ask I for ketchup. I'm scared to have it fixed because whenever you send food back, they I'm they like. They'll spit I'm, in I'm, it though. Yeah. 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 And you know what? I think 99% of the time they are not actually doing anything with the food. But it's just, it's, there's just a sense of just, not just take the food and just eat it. Just also, I've never yeah. been a waitress, but I did work in like the food industry and oh my God, people are crazy. Yeah. Like they're such dicks about everything. One time I had, oh my God, I worked at the, it was like a subway, but it was PETA, extreme PETA. I don't think it's a thing anymore. Wait, extreme PETA? Yeah, it's that's like the name of the... PETA pit, but that's our competitor. But I worked there for a few oh, years. Oh, it's not P-E-T-A, like PETA. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, like, like it, a it, PETA okay. bread. Yeah. And people would come back after eating like 75% of their sandwich oh, being like, no. this isn't what I ordered. And I'd be like, bitch, you ate it. Yeah. <laughs> you. What do you want me to do? Yeah, what do you want me to that's, do? That's for 100% guilty on the customer. There's no way. It'd yeah. Be, you're not supposed to touch that food or you have at least one bite or you shouldn't be having Like I already bite. have to throw it away. I can't like, what do you, mm-hmm. you just... Yeah. There are people trying to milk, like, scam the system. Oh, yeah. and they think they're so smart. There's a, there's a lot of that. So I, there was actually one TikTok I just saw, like, like a couple days ago, where a girl had a meeting with this kid, and girl, uh, they, they're just having a professional business meeting. It was her first time meeting, and uh, apparently his girlfriend comes out of nowhere, and she's like, who's this? And they, like, get into a little fight, and then he's like, sorry, I got to go, and then they both leave. And the girl was stuck with the whole bill. <gasps> oh, and it hit her that, that, like, oh, it was a wow, scam. this... Wow. He, he just pulled off that his girlfriend caught him on a wow. date. Or or she, she's crazy. He had to get pulled out of there and she was stuck with a tip. Did she see kind of someone- ge- Kind of genius. No. No, I'm saying kind of <laughs> genius for the guy and this girl to come up with that idea because I just like, when I saw the video, I was like, oh my God, that's crazy. But like, then it hit me. That like, oh shit, this is- it's a scam. It's a scam. Damn. So what are they doing? Taking turns for either the boyfriend yeah. and girlfriend could each get one meal a day. But, but it's <laughs> also like you're <laughs> setting, you're setting up a whole professional meeting. Like uh, uh, how many how many email exchanges did they go have before going on this like? One of my friends so. worked at Nordstrom, and they have a policy where you can just return. Granted, this was like a long time ago, like a decade ago, but granted. they had this policy where you can just return anything that you've bought at any point in history. And so what? people would walk up with a purse that was from like the seventies, dump it on the counter, <laughs> dump all their shit out and be like, I want to return this. And they had to take it. Even no, receipt, no receipt, no receipt, like, nothing. Uh-uh. That's this a was really 10 years They always were really good with returns. But, and she would get so frustrated because it was like, it was happening all the time. Shoes that were like broken, completely worn for like years and years and years. And it's more annoying when the, the person's trying to like cover their ass when it's like, you know what you're doing. And yeah. like, obviously they're allowed to return anything. No questions asked. But it's like when they make up these elaborate stories of like, well, blah, 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 blah. And you're like, I know what you're doing. Just, Just give like, it to me. I'm wonder, I'm curious if they still do that. I feel like they've had to have changed. Yeah, there's they, no there's way. No yeah. way. I mean, I the amount of people that so. are taking advantage of that. Like I, I've been a heavy, like, I know it's always like customers always right. I don't it's believe It's time it. to change it. The I'm customer not, is not always right. Especially Mm-mm. when you eat 75% of And pedestrians don't always have the right of way. Yeah. No. My, my fa- I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I swear. My, fa- my favorite videos are managers, like man- <laughs> full managers. My favorite videos are managers coming to defend the, the their, worker their employee yes, I love on it. just like an asshole customer. You know, usually you're supposed to be very nice. That's how it should be every time. Especially with TikTok. Yeah. They're like, I'm going to put you on blah, blah, blah. And you're like, go, okay. they're like good. Go ahead. Do it, do it. I love it. I agree. Like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to shop here anymore. I, uh, it's crazy that Ooh. like people think that that hurts. Bye, like, Karen. I'm not going to shop here anymore. Do it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. And. <laughs> Okay, am I reading this one? Sure. Or since we took a long time on that, we can also go, I screenshotted a lot if you want to find one you like. Okay. 
Petty court case, number two. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> Roommates having their boyfriend slash girlfriend around all the time. Ooh. Guilty. Guilty, they better pay rent. 100% True. guilty. At least utilities. I, I agree with that. I don't think we need guilty. to ex- explain any more on that front, right? Yep. Agreed. You're not signing up I was really to, hoping that would break it <laughs> up again. <laughs> By the end, he's like, like <laughs> yes. <laughs> please. Pass it to our judge sister, please. Judge sister. <laughs> judge Murray. That one is just... And I think that's anybody, not just, but like you should have the yeah. respect to go to their house or go out outside of the house. It's, well, it's, it's not when your place. It's, this happened to my friend. She woke up, was getting ready for work, goes into the bathroom or tries to go into the bathroom and her roommate's boyfriend is showering. And she's like, you're now officially interfering with yeah. my life. Yeah. Oof. Like that makes fucking sense. pay rent. Yeah. yeah. No. Also, you're not signing up to live with a couple. Like that yeah. needs to be discussed beforehand. I've done it before. Not fun. You've lived with a couple? Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All the noises. I, I, I loved you. Oh, my boy. <laughs> boy. <laughs> Objection. <laughs> you should have her only come on the pod. That would be uh, let's, something let's else. Not. <laughs> something. Oh, was it not Mariah? No. Oh, it was no. somebody, it was the Gosh, other girl? No. Oh, no. Oh, my God. We never said that. I, it was when I first I thought you were just kidding about no, Mariah. No, no. The I think Heath and Mariah would be lovely to, uh, to live with. I just don't think they could deal with me. I'd uh, be actually the, I'd be the problem. You. Yeah. I didn't know you I, lived together we, with the other girl. Mm-hmm, yeah. Okay. I left my laundry in the wash on accident. My roommate dumped all the wet clothes on the floor. Oof. Guilty. <laughs> wow. Who's, who's Wait. guilty? The, the roommate, roommate or the girl the who roommate. left her clothes? The roommate. The washer. Have some. Yes, it should not have been left there, but there is a respectful Thank way you. to do this. Yes. I agree. So guilty. are the person submitting this not guilty? Yeah, person submitting not guilty. We all forget they should have just said polite, but I have to kind I of t- believe <laughs> devil's advocate, maybe it had happened so many times Correct. and they've been, you know, they've been warned mm. that they're just like, boom, on the floor. I feel like Ashley submitted this. We need more to the story. <laughs> Or yeah. no, I There's submitted this for Ashley. First time offense, not guilty. Yeah. Tenth, guilty. Because I know <sighs> there was a certain roommate, I think it was a few years ago, where they would, I wouldn't take it out probably in time, and they would grab it and put it on the uh, dryer. Mm-hmm. And you you get like pissed at that for a second, but then you're like, okay, I probably should have put a timer on and grabbed that out, especially if you're living with roommates. Yeah, Everybody has kind of like a responsibility to take it out as soon as it's done because the washer and dryer takes a long time mm-hmm. to when you're using it. So I get that, I get that. But on the floor where it's dirty, yeah. come on. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah. That, that, that means you're upset with them. That means that- uh, There's some resentment like there. A little bit of sure. resentment for sure. <laughs> it looks like you're talking <laughs> about God. <laughs> When Guardian Leviosa. Petty case number four. Mm. You drive your friends everywhere, but they never offer gas money mm. or offer other things in return. Guilty. guilty. Our driver is not, not guilty. guilty. Passenger is guilty as guilty. charged. Guilty. Yes. That's crazy. That shouldn't even, that's not even a discussion. Agreed. What do you mean? Who wrote it's, that? It's, it's crazy that people do that stuff though. Like, oh, or if you like pick up a tab. Mm-hmm. Like at a restaurant. It's like, no, I got you. You got me. I'm, okay, I'm the type of person. I don't need a Venmo for everything, right? Agreed. Like, but you should know the rotation. Mm-hmm. Like if, and if, even if I if grab you don't- dinner, maybe I'll grab the next one again. But in your mind, you should kind of have a running count, like a tally mark system to where it's like, I'll get the next one or the other person yes, will get the next one. Yeah. Sure. It's kind of just like a, a unspoken thing. I don't need a Venmo. I don't need to Venmo you. It's just like you t- you you watch each other's back. You take care of yeah. each other. Yep. Like Heath and I are not taking turns when we're buying each other's stuff. Like we, like, but I, I will 100% notice when the last three, four things Heath bought has bought with this card, mm. I'll be like, oh no, I'm buying this one. Like you can tell when you someone know. is getting a lot more, uh, making a lot more transactions than you are. And that's when you need to step in. There's a lot of people just take advantage of it. Mm-hmm. And they just let their friends pay. Just because you know, just because they're doing it doesn't mean they don't know. They're keeping tabs on that shit too. Don't do that. Mm-hmm. Your friends. You know what makes me irate? Irate, good to word, speak, Alicia. Like Remy. <laughs> if, if I put my car down and I'm like, no, no, guys, just Venmo me but then people expect me to send the Venmo request. Like to no. me, that's double duty. Like to yeah. me, I'm like, no, I don't want to have to do the math. Like 
you should Venmo request me. Like that's something in my head that gets me upset. Yeah. Also, just a heads up, if they don't Venmo you within the first minute of this whole thing happening, you will never see that money. I was going to say, I have a oh, couple friends that are ever. just like known for not, like, yeah. like everyone's Venmoing and then I never get a Venmo. Yeah. But I've never said anything. Um, okay. But I got a couple people up here. All right. So I, um, I'm going to put myself on the stand real quick and I'm going to, I'm going to be fighting myself. I am Zane a one woman show. Bane. A yeah. one woman show. I'm a lawyer. I'm well, the my, plaintiff my, my and the defendant. Yeah. I am so guilty of that. I am not the I am not the person that Venmo's immediately Zane's, when the Zane's bill comes really out. I'm really it. bad. But I but I will get the next I'll get the next time. I'm just really bad at Venmo. And I also when I don't I also forget to look out for people's Venmos to me when I like pay the bill with my card. I just I'm not good with Venmo at all. But I but I do make sure I get that next. Guilty. So. Mm. <laughs> guilty is charged. Guilty guilty is credit credit card charged. Yep. Wait, wait. <laughs> guilty ass credit card charge. Ass. <laughs> guilty ass charge. All right. Now we're gonna do a quick fire round. I'm just gonna say them. Everybody pound the gavel. Guilty, not guilty. I'll move it on. Oh, I hate this because I have to explain everything. Yeah, me too. I'm like really my bad. mind's I'm like, okay. People eating with their mouth open. The people are. One, two, three. Guilty. 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 All right. My ex is for wasting my time. Guilty. 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 Don't even need to hear the rest of the case. Ooh, my bestie hooking up with all of my exes. Three, two, one. Guilty. Guilty, guilty. is charged. Guilty, guilty, guilty. Me kissing Corinna. I hope. Guilty, guilty, <laughs> guilty, guilty. Our roommate left her vibrator in the communal box shower. <laughs> The roommate is three, oh. two, one. Innocent. <laughs> That's just hot. <laughs> are, so are, are we sharing it or is it? <laughs> <laughs> Bippity bobbity boop. <laughs> Come on. What is this? What if is this? <laughs> 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 look. It's look, if it's that expensive shit, look, like as long as expensive shit, are vibrators expensive? They can be. They're like two hundred bucks. No, I think. Yeah, they can be. Yeah, they can be. Yeah. They're, yeah. Damn, they're probably like anywhere from like twenty to two hundred. I mean, you get what on, you like, pay for. Yep. Is there a difference? <laughs> the in quality? gift that keeps oh, yeah. on giving for sure. Okay. Forever giving. Giving an on that and on. Like an on Xbox. What? Just get the <laughs> controller. Yeah. Just, right. They got fatality mode on this shit. Uh huh. Just put a fully auto gun on it and hold the trigger, man. Yeah. You gotta, <laughs> and you can play Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> it's still in virginity. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Order in the court. Order, order in, the court. in the court, everybody. Order. Okay, this Settle is quick, down. quick fire, quick fire. <laughs> not responding to texts. The person not responding to texts is three, two, one. Innocent. Guilty. Innocent. Guilty. 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 Oh, guilty, guilty, oh guilty. really? Should we go through? Some, let's go through some texts then. All right. Mm. From Alicia and Remy. Zane, it's going to be you missing. All <laughs> yeah, right. I was going to say. <laughs> I'm really bad at texts. So I'm, I'm I, bad too. I'm really bad. It's all right. The last one I was like, hey, update. We're going to go pick up our wristbands. Like one, feel free to come. Two, can you let Jordan know he can come? No response. Oh. <laughs> Was I me. was like, let me know if he's coming because then I'll make sure. Blah, blah, blah. That was on me. It's and he, you know, I was expecting <laughs> for Heath to um, that, respond yeah, for the was, both of us. I get and it. he didn't. And yeah. we do that. Mm. And I get it. It's okay. Yeah. You're more responsive than I thought you'd be starting oh, the good, show. Oh, good, To be honest, you guys. <laughs> oh, really? It's not bad. Yeah. It's oh, not, what, it's not what, bad. What, what other conversations were you both having of us that you thought was going to happen, but, it, but we, we surprised That's you? That's a whole um, other We episode. did say that we do think that we're going to have to change the name. We did. Oh, really? We yeah, did we say did. that a no lot of times. Way. We did. You, you should have been more vocal I know, and don't transparent. Act, no, don't act surprised. <laughs> I can't. All right. Heath and I did really. This one? This, we did, Zane and Heath on. <laughs> this listener would like to take Zane to court for stealing her heart. The girl is three, two, one. Innocent. Innocent, innocent, innocent I baby. I forgot going. <laughs> DM me your number, baby. Innocent. <laughs> okay. Hitting on a federal judge. A, <laughs> that has to be a crime. Let me see your Instagram. All right, we're on recess. <laughs> Wait, rebuttal. <laughs> see me after court. <laughs> okay. My roommate doesn't clean the hair off the wall after she showers. The roommate is three, oh. two, one. Guilty. Guilty, but I do it. It's, it's fine. It's just hair. Cal, it's crazy Cal how much hair girls it. lose in the shower. <laughs> it, 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 I, I like to play with it. Like I'll take my finger. Oh, I definitely it. did that like when that. I was younger. Pubic hairs out. Oop. 
Guilty. Who's putting their pubic hair on the no. wall? Guilty. <laughs> no. Oh, you're supposed to change your loofah like four times a month or something. Four times a weekly? I it's think like so. It's or it's every big like bacteria. Yeah, thing. you change it weekly. I, ju- I, don't I, j- I just saw like that, that on I'm TikTok. To it. I don't do it weekly. Maybe like every month. Remember, so Mariah was talking months? about the African yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, soap yeah. scrub, the scrub thing. She said mm. those you don't have to change because those are like very very good or something. They they're not like a balled up one where stuff like goes into. Yeah, they're easier to like clean. Yeah. So she said, and I saw that she was right. That's that. Not to like, like never clean. replace. I think I need to do better. I just use like the scrub instead. Mm. But I also clean it out pretty good. I don't yeah. leave like the soap in there and shit. I always clean it out. Isn't and, soap uh, clean also? You know, yeah. isn't it like self sanitizing? Yeah, That's why I never wash my towels. I think That's it's I think it's more the mold. Like the water if water stays in there. You ever seen the I inside of like bacteria. kids' ducky toys? Ew. Oh yeah. It's really bad. You know how kids will like put it in a tub the and like water. squeeze oh, yeah. it? Put it in their mouth. It's yeah. black mold inside. <gasps> I saw it's like so parents bad. cutting yeah. them open yeah. and inside of it is Oh my god! Will actually Disgusting. make you vomit. Oof. It's really bad. I'll throw out my rubber duckies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, last few. Zane v alcohol, twenty twenty. Zane versus First. alcohol. Yeah. And who? And in the year of twenty twenty, were you consuming alcohol? A lot of alcohol? Innocent. Innocent. Alcohol's innocent. <laughs> alcohol, alcohol, alcohol is innocent. Alcohol is innocent. You were innocent. you were being very abusive. I was so abusive, and it, it, it was it was it was a hard times. I was just drinking a lot. I would we say all it were. was a hard time. It yeah, was a hard time. Yeah, yeah baby. Oh, there were a lot written in about you. I'd like to take Zane to court for looking straight at the eclipse. The eclipse is three, two, one. Innocent. Innocent. Oh, yeah. I, you see, to me, again, salmon, like salmonella doesn't exist. So I think looking at the sun, like you can't hurt your eyes. Well, you yeah. try. I already did. Your, your eyes I, put, I, 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 I gave you proof. Where did your everybody honor, get those glasses? Proof. Did you like buy them? I didn't get them. I think you those, guys didn't have them either. He those glasses. Toys? Everyone fake. knew. I think so. Too. I, I think my, it was just a scam. I used my neighbors, and it was really cool to look did at. Did they go buy? Them? I'm like, how did everyone know it was happening I feel at like this it was time? Like and everyone had their glasses. Cereal box or something. That's what it was giving. <laughs> it was giving like came in the morning paper. No, the 3D glasses you used to go to the movie theaters. Yeah. True. Remember the spy glasses as a kid that had the little Don't, mirror in the corner no, that you could look I, behind you. I had spy like I, everything. Every Everything. year for me was the spy kit. The I had the night year. vision goggle spy kit. Ooh, the little the green robot. Like, oh, and yeah. The laser tag ones. I had the one that was like this little uh, little thing like this big. The top popped open. It had a laser that shot out the side so you could leave it at like your door. So yes. if anybody Motion walked, detector? Yes. Ah! And it had the pen that slid out. Yes! <laughs> Those were the best. My mom, my mom couldn't afford that one for me. Why did why did we want to be spies so bad? I don't know. I like they made it cool it. on like TV shows, like Disney Channel show. Like there would always be like a spy. Totally spy. Made them look cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you guys used to want that one big uh, frisbee disc thing that was like a balloon? <gasps> the UFO <gasps> one. The UFO yeah. one. Yes. You just brought I, back wow. a memory. It was like a huge thing. It was like the. Gravity to find yeah. saucers. Yes. Dude, the people reaching for a title, like the or titles, <laughs> names for like like the caption. What am I fucking saying? That, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Like the info, yes, like the yes, yes, yes. infotainment yeah. clickbait. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my god, really I forgot good. about that. Another good one, the Fushigi. What's a Fushigi? The Describe Fushigi it. ball. And it was like a it was like the the clear glass ball that looked like it was like floating and levitating. No, oh, is it kind of like the, uh, the um the globe that's at uh, David's house? Where it like doesn't move and you yes. spin it, kind of like that, but it was yeah. clear. Got it. I, I just remember the, remember magic the blow bullet. pens. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You yes. get a headache. The blow pens are that like sponge yes. thing with the rainbow prism around. Oh. Yes. Or the magic bullet. My oh, personal that was favorite. My, that was my favorite QVC. Oh my god. Or, like, I, commercial I still type. watch it to Actual this day. magic bullet. Yeah. 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 Remember never the commercial, commercial? when they're making guacamole <laughs> for all their friends? The pasta sauces. <laughs> the and, sauce, and the smoothies. cake batter, and the smoothies, oh my god, and the, guac. the queso. It's crazy how like much I wanted that as a kid. No, yeah, like and the color. I think it was the colored like. It was just the the infomercial did things like they were just. It was so subtle, but sold everybody on it. Uh, it's I crazy love a magic bullet. Called and and you right? bought it all, like over for from only home. two payments of nineteen ninety five. But plus wait, shipping and handling. there's more. That got me. Well, oh, double yeah. your order. Well, free cookbook. Sign me up. <laughs> True. Good. And I never understood how it was like order within the next twenty minutes to get an extent. Like yes. I'm like, how did they know when the commercial I ran? I don't I think they did. I, I think bet they're giving it to I everyone. Yeah. I, I don't think if you order the next one, I think they they just took calls all the time. All a day. sham wow. Sham. Wow. wow, that was a good. Or that like man if there's a passed hole. away, right? I think so. Yeah, he did. 
That was a great infomercial. Wait, no, not the Sham Wow guy. Or the Sham Wow guy. Yeah, Sham Wow guy. No, there was like I a whole Billy Mays died. I think they both passed. Oof. Well, that was a fun game. Mm. I loved that. That honestly was very fun. That, was a, that, that wasn't a game. That was real life to me. Because the law is real life. That's right. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> and that's what I'm always saying. <laughs> Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this podcast, DraftKings Casino. It is everybody's favorite time of the year. It is spring break season. I'm thinking back when I would go t- on spring break trips and you're like chilling by the pool. You have a drink in your hand. You're mm. just chilling out by the beach, having all day fun. And you know what's amazing that also reminds me of that fun time? DraftKings Casino. And with DraftKings Casino, you play exclusive games like Fan Fave Rocket. The excitement is endless. The vibes are immaculate and the cash prizes could be huge. New players start playing with just five bucks and get 100 back instantly in casino credits. So make sure to download the app and use code PXF to book your one-way ticket to fun with DraftKings Casino. The crown is yours, baby. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly, 21 plus. Physically present in Connecticut, Michigan, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, West Virginia only. Void in Ontario. Eligibility and other restrictions apply. One per opted in new customer. $5 wager required. Max is $100 in casino credits awarded, which requires one time playthrough within 168 hours. See terms at casino.draftkings.com slash promos. Restrictions apply. Thank you, DraftKings Casino, for sponsoring today's show. Now, let's get back to the episode. Since we're experts with the law, Mm -hmm. I think, I actually thought we should do a a little, like, debate moment, and we can pair up. Her as a lawyer debate moment. Hear me out. out. (laughs) We We can do a little In our little lawyer era. Do a debate moment. All right, go, go, go. Um, so should we do us and then and then you guys? No, I think no, us I two versus you two. two. Versus yeah. Oh. I don't want I don't want Zayn on my team. Why? Why? Um. Dude, I think I could try the shit out of debate anybody. it right now. Tell me why you should be on my team. Because I'm your good friend. I'm smart. I'm good with the law. Mm-hmm. And I was the one that came up with the idea to not do Pretty X Unfiltered because I knew that I was be trademarked. That's really funny. Screenshot the, the the text chat. Of, Guys, we're, we're fine. We're fine. I just like I know we're fine. So we are, do, it's good. To, it's good for someone to be optimistic. You know. Okay, so for this next game, uh, we have two piles. One is going to have a topic, and the other is going to say pro or against. So whatever you draw, you have to say you're pro. Whatever it is, you have to build your case, your debate, and show why you're against it. And the other team. Is going to have the opposite yeah. and debate why the other opinion is correct. Even mm. if you are pro or anti, whichever it is, if you get the opposite of what you think, you got to fight for right. the death yes. with your debate. Yeah. You, this is your life depends on this. That's debate. right. Cause we have lawyers out there that know somebody's guilty and they have to go out there and they have to lie to a judge's face. Like OJ Simpson's so lawyer. True. Right. Good job, lying, hon. <laughs> Good job. Lying, hon. Good job, Rob Kardashian. RIP. What? Who? Robert Kardashian. Oh, I thought you were talking about OJ. I was like, no, that man is still out there. I thought you were saying R.I.P. to the, He's making TikToks. His, OJ's wife. Oh. Recipe. R.I.P. He Cold killed blood. the club. So based on where we're sitting, we will do Heath and I against Alicia and Zane. Oh, mm. Easy. And I think we can't like discuss. I think yeah. we just have to keep Go going. It. Yeah, okay. we're just going, going. Yeah. And no thinking. You just got to go. <laughs> easy. We are anti polygamy. Hmm. Hmm. So you guys have to be for it, correct? Yeah, we are pro polygamy over here. I don't know what oh, you're talking uh, about. You are so right. Bet you are, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> Bet you are. So we have to start? Yep. Take I would it, love Zane. to hear it. <laughs> Present your case. Present. I believe in a world where. <laughs> Ooh, the power. <laughs> where. <laughs> oh, do we go together? Or is it separate? Yeah, you guys are on a team. Oh, okay. Well, oh, no. Easy. Me and Judge McDonald both <laughs> feel that polygamy is just not the way to go mm-hmm. because we live in a world where we, when, when we, when we're with the person that we love, we expect the number one thing that we should be expecting of that partner is loyalty. 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 And so loyalty kind of goes out the, goes out the, 
the foyer when the foyer. when there's yeah. when there's four <laughs> other when there's four other uh customers included. <laughs> customers. And when I say customers, that's exactly what I'm saying. Four customers cuz the person, the, the person who's in the polygamous relationship, he's running himself like he's a, a like an inn, like a hotel inn, and I think that's disgusting. Can we say that for <laughs> us? Um. We and 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 you know, you know what? Uh, <laughs> me as a lawyer, I, I, I'm not trying to get into technical terms. I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm straight really shooter. honest. I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm a straight shooter. I call it how I see it. I'm a straight shooter lawyer. <laughs> I think it's disgusting. Oh wow. I think it's bigger words. Fi- filthy, and um, as a person who, um, as a person who's a a Christian, and uh, and a Christian. if you were my lawyer, I would be livid right now. <laughs> ah! it up. Opening uh, statement needs it, to come to I a just, close. I oh, um, <laughs> glasses adjustment. Uh, uh, uh yeah. yeah. Tap in, tap in. <laughs> Um, so basically what we're trying to say here, basically basically, what we're trying to say here is men have the audacity to even think that they can have that many women, um, when they don't even know how to satisfy said women. So (laughs) period, your honor. Um, may we take the floor? No, (laughs) we have not, we have not finished our case and now we're finished. No, we're not finished. May I start? Go for it, please. When Judge Hazazi, Hazazi, is like, what's <laughs> Yeah, we are all. We Good are, try, Ram. One we more are, time. We are all besties. Mm. Judge Hazazi. <laughs> she thought that Jay was silent. <laughs> he, yeah, she thought she killed him. Hazazi. Hazazi. I was like, that does not sound right. Um, okay, okay. Judge, <laughs> okay, Judge Crew. <laughs> judge Ruse. Judge Ruse. Okay, when Judge. Thank it's God the judge so. and the judge and judge. Okay. When Judge Hijazi brought up loyalty. Mm-hmm. Fuck, I had such a good one. I forgot I, now. I, I mm-hmm. bet you did your own. No, 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 no. I didn't know we could only be loyal to one party. Mm hmm. Us on this couch over here have loyalty mm. towards all. We have love to give to one another, to many people. Mm-hmm. Correct. Uh, also, I don't enjoy that you were just spinning polygamous as men. Correct. Perhaps mm-hmm. polygamy is for all, and that's what we say over here on these couches. But yeah. is it? Sorry. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. It's <laughs> our opening remarks. Objections. It's also hearsay. They're all, they're also <laughs> gaslighting us. So you okay. saw that. This one is just they gaslighting. Defle- they deflect. <laughs> First deflection. Of all, it's the it's the assumption that it's one man with multiple women mm-hmm. as partners, mm-hmm. and the fact that you assumed that from the beginning and categorized all polygamists into that is very offensive. Deflection. So there's no respect. All, all monogamous. <laughs> We can put them. Feel that they can just interject whenever. Yep. Objection! Please. Objection! Uh, hearsay! Uh, power! Power! And power! Is, dynamic. That is power the attorney. root of why we are Correct. here in court today. Because Correct. as polygamists, we have, believe that everyone has a chance to speak. Correct. Mm-hmm. And everyone has, a, has a floor. Exactly. <laughs> everyone gets the turn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and also, the thing is, Sorry. we we are just so full of love. A lot of love. And we have so much to give. Mm-hmm. And why not share that with as many people as possible? <laughs> That's what it, I'm always saying. <laughs> it it feels wrong to limit that to one person. Mm-hmm. No, I feel I and are you damn that's a win that was a win got on got on jordan Jordan should vote on who's who's oh yeah yeah, 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 case no no, that that is uh, that's uh that's uh, what's the what's the term that's um uh that no what's the term i know i know it's not that that i know conflict of interest that's no that's conflict of interest we need somebody else we will just agree to disagree we won yeah all right let's move on thank you I thought that oh, was... Oh, okay, okay, okay. We did okay. I think we did okay. okay. Heath, read it out loud. So over here on this side, we are anti-reclining your seat back on an airplane. Oh. Hit it. And I'll tell you why. Yep. The space on an aircraft, as you all know, is already so limited. And in that restriction of space, having somebody else interfere and come into your space personal space can be very daunting. Agreed. 
make you feel very uncomfortable, Daunting. especially in today's society where, you know, we all value our own personal space and having somebody come into that can feel, make you feel very uneasy. Agreed. And you also have to take in to account these planes have been flying for 30, 40, 50 plus years. A lot of the seat reclining functions don't all work properly on the plane. So now you have people that can't also recline back to make up for that space and they're stuck in the upright position with it being extra cramped. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I think that all reclining on airplanes should be banned. That way we're all on an equal playing field and all share the same space. Unless you're in first class. Unless you're in first class. You paid for that. <laughs> Go best. Then it ain't either, either way, I mean... Plane ticket prices are just mm. outrageous these days. Mm. You know, you've got so many other things to worry about. Maybe you've been placed on a Boeing 737. You got to worry about your life. Already on edge. Exactly. You're already praying to dear God that the plane mm. doesn't go down, that the doors don't fly off. Mm. And then all of a sudden, your neighbor front in front of you, mm -hmm. your drink spills all over your laptop. Boom. You can't move. You can't get out of your seat anymore. You're stuck. And then the plane goes down. We're just going to do that to people? Hard people oh. spending their hard-earned money on these tickets. Mm -hmm. Think of the person in the very back row <laughs> already up against the bathroom. And they don't Smelling recline. smells. And they can't. The they can't. I have sat in the back row, bitch. I, I just did. Objection <laughs> unrelated. From what I would imagine economy is like, it has to be brutal. <laughs> <laughs> you're already smelling the smells and then someone you can't even <laughs> recline your chair and the person in front of you boom mm. right in your wig right in the face mm -hmm. and that's in our... conclusion we already have it hard enough on these planes why make it harder and i agree you're up <laughs> you're up about a minute from time and I agree. Why make it harder? We spend so much money on these plane tickets, right? Mm -hmm. Imagine having some of your rights taken away after you've rightfully, you know, purchased said ticket. And $550. $550. Minimum. And someone says, hey, I know you got the, I know what you, you expect to get what you are paid. What, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Land the plane, girl. Yep. <laughs> I know that you expect to get what you've paid for. Otherwise, that'd be false advertising. And all I'm hearing is that the real issue here is the planes. But we're not talking about <laughs> <laughs> what I hear. Yes. Yes. What, yes. yes. Take, take what your, I hear. Take your time. Take your time. Are the planes are the real problem and issue that need upgraded to make room for new standardized plane seats. However, the real discussion we're having today are the planes currently in use. If you <laughs> if you were given um <laughs> if you went to a drive-thru and you order a large soda, but they only fill it halfway, wouldn't you want your money's worth? Wouldn't you be pissed that you weren't given what you bought, what you rightfully paid for? If I'm going to an airplane and I sit down, I'm sorry if someone is tall behind me. I'm reclining. I'm just going to recline because I rightfully have the right to recline. It's all about them. Always it's all, all about, about the them. individual. Never the group. Oh, I have so many rebuttals. It's okay. You're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I can rebuttal myself. Zane, do you care to chime yes, in on this? Please. To begin, there's a reason why every seat on an airplane has a reclining seat. There's Equality. A there's a button on the, on the edge of your seat. First class, middle class, economy. <laughs> Back of the plane, every seat has a recliner. And there's a reason why it's there. Because some people would like to sleep at night. Some people need to, some people cannot sleep at a 90 degree angle. I know I can't. My grandmother can't. Remy can. <laughs> My grandmother with a bad back can't. You're going to tell my bad back grandmother <laughs> that after spending $550 that she can't recline her seat back? Ridiculous. In an aircraft not suitable for her? disrespectful <laughs> this conversation should be had with the makers of the plane and that's what i'm saying and if you would like us to not have reclined seats remove the function 
And if you're not going to not only remove the function, but when you are promoting it on your site where the expensive tickets are available, remove the little icon with the reclined seats. We need that gone too, because mm -hmm. you're using that to promote Marketing. airline tickets. False advertisement. False advertisement. Thank you very much, Judge mm -hmm. McDonald. You're so welcome. We need head change. We need change to remove one row to give all reclining where all enjoy it. Meeting a, adjourn. <laughs> to conclude, we we need change. We need... And we need it now. If we cannot have reclined seats, remove it from the planes. Okay. You guys got a point. I still have a point. I think we did too. <laughs> 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 what do we got? You're we pro are. fucking your cousin, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. We are anti-fact-checking this podcast. Oh. Wow. I mean, Zane is already. <laughs> so, since we pulled the cards, we will go first. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the way we started this podcast, we, we set a president. A president. We, we informed everybody watching in the beginning that... This is not a show where you get your where you get your news from. <laughs> we are not a show that checks our phone to see if something is true or not. We are not We are not we are not discussing important matters on the show. This is more for pop culture and just our opinions. Entertainment. Entertainment and mm -hmm. um uh, think of our show as a, as a stand-up comedian show. Exactly. Nothing that they see on that stage is factual, but we just go to be entertained. We are not a political and news channel. In this day and age, I've seen so many irresponsible... Even those platforms have... Have... Uh, have... Fuck. <laughs> they have spread false narratives... Across the country. Propaganda. Propaganda. Thank you. Propaganda. Good, good, good. And, and for that Girl. reason, we don't know who to ever trust, let alone the people we can't, are supposed to trust, we don't trust. So we're just here to bring laughter and joy and love to our viewers. I have a question. Yes. Heath, may people not be entertained while also educated? I I would say that you can do both at the same time. I think I think there is a reason why Miss Rachel is fucking slaying the charts. Yes. Why she is laughing her way to the bank mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. uh, objection, Miss Rachel's not a podcast. Oh. Oh. When they say she is a podcast. What was our prompt? I anti can't. fact checking. We're no, for our, we're, no, we're for we're fact checking You're for the podcast. Fact, fact checking what? <laughs> Your podcast. Mm. Okay. I can't even imagine how <laughs> embarrassing <laughs> it must be for you to not know someone, what the prompt was for someone to use the word enigma mm. incorrectly. Mm. I want, what is that like? <laughs> and that is, I wouldn't know. Mysterious and, and puzzling, huh? Mysteri yeah. I'm sure it feels very enigmatic to not know Enigmatically. the meaning of enigma, but that is why we fact check this podcast Correct. because while yes, we set the president that we're not going to, Mm -hmm. why not educate our viewers, learn together, mm. become better together? May I, may I piggyback please, this? Please, <laughs> As you all know, we do have a substantial audience that tunes in weekly to hear from us. Mm -hmm. They look up to us. We're role models, if you will. Mm. And a lot of people <laughs> put their faith... Ew, are you... Kidding. And that's how I feel about your. <laughs> Are you? And that's kidding? how I feel about your case. I just think case. It's this. Close. It's this type of behavior that no, like a man. is absolutely repulsive. Agreed. And, oh, I can't. Um, Agreed. <laughs> I'm talking with the headphones. <laughs> yeah. I um, want to go check your underwear. We have a lot of young, impressionable audience members tuning in. <laughs> And for us to be blatantly and mm -hmm. purposefully mm -hmm. spewing lies mm -hmm. to the general public, mm -hmm. misinforming our youth mm -hmm. on topics, 
pop culture, whatever it may be, I think is so dangerous it is. because I know it when is. I was younger, I used to myself watch television infomercials, infomercials, and I didn't know better because I wasn't educated enough yet to know that what I was hearing was not true. And I was going around and spreading it myself as factual information without knowing. And that is very, very dangerous. We over here don't appreciate the insinuating of us purposely spreading misinformation. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Judge. No, it's the it's the re refusal mm. to fact check. It is possible, mm -hmm. but it seems like they're saying, no, let's not do it. Mm. It's possible. You're just refusing to do it. It's, and that it's hard as a judge when you want to be fully in the show, in the podcast, and you know, you want to you want to give your full your full um attention attention um while filming you know since we have such a short amount of time that we have to do every episode yes and so what you're saying is unqualified and unprofessional you know i agree with where you're going but to watch the edit and to see Correct. that one may have used a word incorrectly and beg I for it to be taken full out responsibility for not correcting you in the moment and <laughs> thank you Rima. you know that's but just you know what? irresponsible. And we left it in. And I know, I know the viewers were so appreciative of that moment because the amount of comments where they said they were laughing so hard because, about an enigma, because it made them what, smile. And that's all that matters. Because that's what makes our show. Time is up. Our show. <laughs> Jordan. Jury. Let's go. Thank okay. You. Give me some. What it's did we get? All, what did we, when, did we get a win ever? because you fucking. We're 2v1. Mm. Please. Oh, us. Us, us, us. <laughs> Please, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't. You, our, could, you could have thought better. This okay. is such a fun episode. I this is a really good episode. Our wigs all look so different. <laughs> they keep receding. Oh my God. As I the know. episode's going, I know. All, I just, oh wow. Oh God. Uh, this is something that I'm passionate about though. Uh -oh. So I can. We on this couch can, over here. Oh no, I already know what it is. We are pro cannibalism. Oh. Mm. And I'll say it again, we are pro cannibalism mm -hmm. i know you are we don't need to play a game to know that and take it away he take it you away wanna... judge yeah, Please. all right um mm, i'm hungry mm. i could really go for some arm right now or some dick that as well my argument will be as simple as this have you tasted human flesh most of you listening will say no <laughs> so how do you how can you sit there and tell me that it is wrong, it is disgusting, and that it should not be done? So is murder. I We're not talking about murder, and please stop interjecting on the first chair. I think <laughs> the most honorable way to say goodbye and let go of a loved one would be through consuming them. <laughs> a little nibble. <laughs> you, you don't have to eat the whole thing. May I jump in when you're ready? Absolutely. Um, to honor the departed... I think is the most beautiful way to have a ceremonial body consumption. Mm -hmm. in, Everybody can take part in. In the same way that you are laying out this beautiful story mm. of con consumption and mm -hmm. digestion and keeping one forever. Correct. Would it not be the same way that you are absorbing the ink of Correct. your shared tattoo. Which is why I stand behind my decision. And I agree, and I've decided to switch sides, and I am now over here. I think... Please silence your phones. Yep. <laughs> Please silence your phones in the courtroom. It's not me. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> See, we have, I, a, was, we have uh, a dishonest was, judge. Mm -hmm. It was a Domino's notification. Ooh. <laughs> Three for five. Pizza's ready. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, we were rudely interrupted. Is it not the most respectful thing you can do? I would say so. To consume. I mean, it doesn't have to be your loved one. Maybe we could start a service. Correct. Just knowing that your loved ones are being honored in the truest form of cannibalism. Judge Hussar, you say that, well, you, well, we, well, well, I've never tried it. I've never tried to eat other humans, but. Where is the line when it comes to eating your own kind? Mm. There's a reason why we don't eat our own kind is because where does your root belief in right or wrong come from? From from not from not hurting our own species. Mm. 
which is why I said our our deceased, the people that have passed, oh. is a way of so honoring. So it's conditional. So no. you're not fully supportive of cannibalism. I think you have to be all in. No. I believe the definition no, is um, eating of one species. It did not specify right. dead there's or alive. Mm. Thank you, Judge but Remy. Yes, thank but you. then of again, course, where, where where's the line? Mm. Where is just the your, line? Just your deceased ones? Mm-hmm. So if your if your grandmother or your mother or your father wants to be eaten by you, I that should be okay. But then are we going to allow this on all parties? Mm. I am so sorry. You have the easy fight, and you are doing a <laughs> horrible <laughs> job. Can we just can we just take the W? It yeah. is unlawful. Thank you. All right. Wow, I can't believe we just won. That, that way. <laughs> wow. All right. I think if we have more time, Pick it. You guys. You guys win second. All right, go. That's I was so I was funny. I was giving a good fight. Okay. I'm sorry. I was giving a good fight. It was coming. You're just impatient. Mm. I'm sorry. We did go on much longer. We I will give you that. I'm sorry. So should we? Okay. <sighs> These lawyers are pro marrying your cousin. Judges, lawyers, same thing. We believe, speaking of where is the line, mm -hmm. where is the line? <laughs> Alicia, we're gonna lose. <laughs> as pro incest and as pro marrying your cousins and keeping it in the bloodline, I believe that this is a good way to um, really honor your family heritage. And in order to, to it, it, just to keep things in house, you know? <laughs> I like the and love anyone. When it comes to love, there should be no line. Mm -hmm. Love all. Uh huh. All. Everybody needs to be loved. Imagine falling in love with someone. You learn to find out they're your third cousin. And then you find out there's a law that says you legally can't be together. And we've seen it happen. And we have seen it happen. You sound like Karen from Mean Girls. <laughs> <laughs> He's my first cousin. Yeah. R2. <laughs> <laughs> May we jump in? No. <coughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Back to you, Zay. <laughs> We're not sure. Back a lot, to you. Not only does everyone deserve to find love, there's also a lot of people that cannot find love. And many people <laughs> and many people need to resort in marrying one's cousin mm -hmm. because they want to keep not only the custom values of the family and the tradition happening. The crest. And how did we get here in life, in this world, right? At some point, I'm sure we needed it to survive. And we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for marrying your cousins. We over here are against marrying your cousins. But you're for cannibalism. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And we did win that argument as well. <laughs> I just, in the, in the pipeline trajectory of, of life, you know, you meet you date, you get engaged, you marry, you have sex after marriage, and you procreate, mm -hmm. you have children. Mm -hmm. Do you understand the genetic implications mm -hmm. that could come into play with incest? You right. will be harming, potentially, your children. Not your cousins. Your cousin will be fine, your kids will not be. Nope. Cousin, brother and sister is what makes it dangerous, not cousins. Mm, that's not true. Look it up. You do share genetic Look it up, makeup your with your cousins. So it's very true. Yep. You do share genetic makeup with your cousins. Okay. And you know, procreation under incest. We already have such a high risk in today's society. Agreed. With um, abnormalities mm -hmm. in childbirth. Mm -hmm. um, and to add on to that, already significant chance is is not worth the risk alone um when it comes to incest also we're big advocate we're big advocates for diversity mm -hmm. and you know marrying who you love yes and i think that staying in the same bloodline and genetic code and it feels very supremacist oh. to me <laughs> and um oh, we didn't rehearse that one <laughs> uh, and i think that that is already a very very um 
dangerous mindset to have. Agreed. Um, so to do it just for the sake of that um, is incredibly wrong. There are 8 billion people on this planet, correct? Mm. And sometimes all you need is one. <laughs> Excuse me. 8 billion, correct? It's a long time yeah. on this Judge side. Uzar? Yes. Uh, 8 billion people on this planet, you know, if you can't make one of those 8 billion people match your person, be mm, your person, mm, mm-hmm. and you have to go inside the family lines, I think you should stop focusing on love and start looking inward Correct. because there is something wrong with you. Oh, hearsay. Uh, that, and that's, <laughs> and, and that's, a, that's where antisocial comes in. That's where mental issues come in. That's something that people have to deal with and they also deserve to find love. And some people are just more comfortable <laughs> looking for love within at a family with, reunion. With, with, at their family <laughs> reunion. Exactly. Some people just, you know, they, they need help. <laughs> Good cases on both sides. <laughs> Jordan, you guys are just good at bullshitting. <laughs> we're just people? saying, don't fuck your cousin. I'm saying. That's what we're saying. You know, mm. my kid will most likely have anxiety, but should that not let me be a mother? <laughs> oh my God. And with your language, I could just say, don't fucking eat your cousin. <laughs> <laughs> and wow. I could also say polygamy is a beautiful thing because as you said earlier, love is love. Don't we all deserve love? And that's why we should go back to your argument with polygamy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much. <laughs> we should all love everyone. Okay, last one. We're doing one more? Yeah, let's do one more quick okay. one. <clears throat> ah, over here on this side of the room, we are pro men are stronger than women. And I'll tell you why. Oh, you started that one quick. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let me start off this way. Um, okay. Would you say that women are more caring, loving, nurturing than men? No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think so? I don't think so. You think they're stronger? I think all over men are better than women in every scenario. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, where's she going with this? <laughs> okay, that was good, right? That was great. That was, that was good. Yep. Scientifically and statistically, mm-hmm. there are things that men are genetically predisposed to be better at. Strength being one of them. Look across your national average in any sort of physical competition. Yes, there are outliers. Mm -hmm. But predominantly, the vast majority any sort of physical competition, a man will overpower a woman, which is why <laughs> the men are protectors in the family, why they're the the hunter. They are the hunter gatherers, <laughs> <laughs> um, which is why the men are the protectors and will shield and protect women from any sort of harm. Yes. To wrap up his his argument, would you tell Michael Phelps? <laughs> That he is weaker than a woman? <laughs> Would you tell Yao Ming that he is weaker than a woman? Good, Would good. you tell <laughs> Would you tell Michael Jordan that he is weaker than a woman? Well, Im- based on his immune... Michael Jordan doesn't have AIDS. No, he doesn't. He does. <laughs> he does. <laughs> he does. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, <laughs> in conclusion, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> to answer your question, we would, because we believe women are actually way stronger in all, in all aspects, all areas. Because strength doesn't only come physically, but it can come in many forms. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Think about it. Back in the day, who was sent to war? Men, but not for the reason you think, because women are actually way more valuable. Our uterus, our wombs, valuable. So we couldn't afford- The pain it takes for a woman (laughs) to push out a baby- A human child, imagine, human. Mm -hmm. 10 centimeters. The pain that women endure (laughs) when a baby comes out of their uterus is much worse (laughs) Mm -hmm. than any pain that any man has gone through. Mm -hmm. Okay? Ever. 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 And will ever. And also, 
Alicia, come on. <laughs> also, there have been many, 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 many studies that have not included women. Why? Because the men were too lazy to include women in these studies because our hormones, huge variables. And they were looked at as not everything. a value. So did you know that, yeah, we weren't looked at as a value? Uh, just as, as a value. <laughs> as a value. <laughs> as a value. Jordan? I think we made our point. <laughs> Thank you, Jordan. Ow! Wait, really? We got that. Are you really? kidding? I thought we did good. I thought you did great. Thank you. I did good. I think you both did amazing, well, and I'm on your side. Good, good work out there but on the we stand. Won. You crushed it. Thank you, you as well. I Judge think the viewers judge. should vote. Thanks, Judge Rem. Yeah, I, I mean, I think we, I think we won that one honestly, mm -hmm. and we also just didn't get enough time because we just keep getting interrupted. I know by that side, but it's fine. So you know, it seems like they're getting interrupted <laughs> from their own cell phones. Yes, <laughs> from Domino's. <laughs> Mine was Amazon delivery. <laughs> <laughs> you get a phone call when you get an Amazon it delivery. Just shows Why? The, uh, professionalism in the courtroom. Agreed. You know, I believe your wig is too small for your head. Oh, okay. We're gonna end <laughs> the episode here. I actually think it looks great. This on is you. where they're about to start getting nasty. <laughs> I see. Me on the other hand. When you're losing your argument, that's such a see, such a it, childish, amateur right? way. I believe your bun is sticking out of your wig. <laughs> what an judge. amateur way of of <laughs> fighting and confrontation. Slinging insults. Slinging I believe I'm leaving insults. a tooth under my pillow, fairy godmother, <laughs> tonight. Sorry, you're getting coal. Anyways, thank you guys for listening to this episode of Le Illegally, Illegally Unfiltered. Unfiltered. Please comment below, name suggest. Don't break it. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Don't forget to comment name suggestions for us. Got um, a thing about to fall off your head. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning into another episode. We love you so much and we hope you enjoyed our episode. You can check out episodes every Thursday, audio form and video form on all the podcast platforms. And also, if you want to watch these videos, go to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash. We don't know yet. Oh know. my God. This is so sad. I know. All right. Catch you guys later. Bye. Bye. Peace. Meeting adjourned.